Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, every single Monday, I highlight the country's most expensive storage unit at auction. I go through most of the pictures, talk about what's inside, and ultimately decide if it's going to sell and what it's going to sell for. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video so I can update you on last week's storage unit in Fredericksburg, Virginia. It was full of QVC boxes. Did it sell? And what did it sell for? Today we are in Woodland, California with a 10 by 5 that at first glance doesn't appear to have a, a whole lot in it. But its current high bid is $18,010. Let's pull up the pictures and take a look. In picture number one, you can see a gun safe on the right side. It appears there's a grandfather clock that's stored behind it. I spy what looks like a gun holster on top of the safe. There's a tool of some sort, a white cabinet with some really interesting wooden boxes in there. We have some more packed boxes on the very left. I can see some Nike orange shoe boxes. Let's move to picture number two. Photo two gives us a more close up look at that gun safe as well as the grandfather clock. On top, it definitely is a gun holster with a gun lock. This safe looks like it may have been broken into at some point. The door looks crooked. It's latched on the bottom and it's flush with the front, but on the top it looks like they have pried it open. Peeking out on the left side there behind the safe, I can see what appears to be some purses. So we're going to hunt down the photo that shows a close-up view of that. All right, so this is as close as we're gonna get to a picture of that box. I see potentially four purses inside of there, and the pink one, that little triangle symbol, I believe is Prada. Now, is it actually Prada? You know, probably not. If you're gonna spend $30,000, 5000 10000 whatever, $1,000 on a bag, you're not just going to throw it haphazardly in the bottom of a box. You know, if I had a dollar for every single time I found a Fuji, a Nada, and a Fui Vuitton in a storage unit, I'd have at least $4. But crazier things have happened. It could absolutely be real. So could the two coaches on the left there. I'm not sure what the light baby blue purse is. It, you know, it's worth a gamble. Is it worth $18,000? I mean, <laughs> we'll see. Moving along to the next photo, we see two brown boxes and a white one. I do see some writing on that white box. I'm going to zoom in on that to see what it says. I just love it when people are responsible and they label their boxes. This one says US Proof Commemorative Silver Dollar Collection. I hopped on to PCGS.com. They do have a very similar collection for sale right now. It appears to be 56 coins at $94.90 a coin. Quick math, I'll do it for you. That comes out to $5,314. So, if the coins are inside of this box, that is a hefty chunk of change, pun intended, that is sitting right there. Ah, uh, now we can see what's inside of the cabinet. On the top left there, that cute little balloon animal, it appears to be made by Art Lab, goes for around $42 American. Right next to it is that wooden box. If you know coins, you know that's what that's for. Some people don't, and that's totally okay. I did find this exact box for sale on eBay empty for $75, and it appears to originally have held that US proof silver dollar coin collection. There is another coin box that is directly underneath that, as well as another labeled white box. So I'm gonna try to zoom in on that label and see what might be in there. We are batting two for two on this one. We can read that label. It says platinum and gold highlighted American Eagle silver dollars. I looked that set up and I was able to find it. It appears to be a 15 coin collection at $119.90 a coin. Quick math again, that's roughly $1,800 more if it's inside of that box. Tucked back into the corner of this storage unit, we can see the two Nike shoe boxes, a boot box, and then a silver spoon holder that's shaped like the United States. I don't know about you, but 
Anyone that I've known that has collected coins also collects spoons. Sometimes those spoons are just a cheap metal. Sometimes they're silver plated. Sometimes they're actual sterling. So hopefully that collection is inside of the storage unit. All right. So from this angle, we can see that that box, the tool is a Makita. It says Makita AVT. I looked that up. It should be the Makita AVT demo hammer. If that tool is in there, that's another couple hundred dollars. There's a really cool wooden chest that is sitting on the ground there. It appears the latch is broken on that, but that's pretty normal. On top of the safe, you can see clearer now, there is the gun holster, the gun lock, and potentially some silver bowls. They might be silver plate. One quick tip when you are looking at silver bowls, you want to look for EPNS. It stands for electro plated nickel silver. That's silver plate. We have looked at the pictures, so let's talk about this. Again, it is a 10 by 4 five and there's a lot of floor in there that you can see which basically means you gotta you gotta have a lot of bang for your buck inside every single box it currently sits at eighteen thousand and ten dollars with just over two days left what is driving the price of this storage unit the possibility of guns the possibility of coins because let's be truthful here we didn't actually see a single coin all we saw were labels and of course the luxury purses that are in the back left corner there is always potential that they are real and not counterfeit, but I don't believe that's very likely in this scenario just because they've been thrown inside of a box. They're not stored in their original boxes, and there really isn't a whole lot of care. I know that if I spent that much on a Prada bag, I would at least make sure that I store it safely. Let's talk about that gun safe. It's on the cheaper side, and they pried it open, and, and I don't know if that was the facility or the owner who was checking to make sure it was empty, but they didn't even bother to unlock it. Those locks are so easy to break into. So if you lose your key, I mean, just to quickly do that with no care as to the functionality of the safe moving forward makes me think that it's empty. It can say that the grandfather clock is actually in there because we can see it. And of course, that adorable balloon animal. Outside of that, everything else is just a gamble. If the purses are real, the safe is full of guns and those coin boxes are in fact full with those coins, then yes, this storage unit is worth the $18,000 dollars but none of those are guarantees this is in California which does have a lot of buyers and a lot of people that are willing to take this kind of gamble to, to pay out big but I I personally I wouldn't do it. There's a whole lot of unknowns in this situation. I do think this storage unit will end, it will sell, and probably in the neighborhood of $21,000. So make sure you come back next Monday. I will update you on what this sells for. Speaking of updating you on prices, we're going to talk about last week's number one unit that was in Fredericksburg, Virginia. It was a 10 by 30 that was full of QVC boxes, poly mailers, and trash bags. When we left it, it was at $25,000. Now, if you remember, this is the second time that we have seen this storage unit. The first time it sold, but maybe didn't sell, it ended at $50,000. This time, it sold for much less. $25,790 is what this unit ended at. Let's hope it's the last time that we see it. And I really, really hope that you got some good stuff out of there. All right, that's what I've got for this week. Make sure you come back next Monday and you'll get a little update as to what this 10 by 5 in Woodland, California did sell for or if it even sold. Until then, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you on Monday. Day. Take care of each other.